A couple of weeks ago when my graphics card died, I was like... But a little over a week ago when I was watching the news on my computer and it just went... It just shut right off on me and later on I found out it was my motherboard that died. I was like... But usually when something like this happens, the power supply is the culprit. So how was I able to test my power supply and find out that it was still working? I did it with this. So using a paperclip to find out if your power supply unit is still working is a very simple and easy test. All you need to do is open up the paperclip, tear off the plastic coating on both ends, exposing the metal. From there, you want to disconnect your power supply from your motherboard and other peripherals within your computer. Side note, for any of you who are watching from North America or from any country where static discharge is an issue, please make sure you ground yourself, put on an anti-static wrist strap, because I don't want you to damage any one of your components while you're trying to test your power supply. In Belize, where I'm from, we don't really have this issue, so I don't even own any of those wrist straps and you won't see me using anything like that in this video. So once you've disconnected your power supply, you want to take the 24 pin connector that connects to your motherboard. From there, you're going to take one end of your paper clip, plug it into the pin that's connected to a green wire, and then the next end into a pin that's connected to any one of the black wires. You might be thinking, but Joe, I have one of those fancy modular power supplies and all of my wires are black. Or you might say I've got myself one of those custom colored cables and none of my cables have black or green wires. But this is okay, this is a standard. All you have to do is take the 24 pin connector, flip it to the side where the clip that connects to the motherboard is facing you. And then from the right, you wanna count four pins. One, two, three, four. That's your live, that's where the green usually is. And the third one right before it, that's a black ground. So all you need to do is put your paper clip side by side in pin four and pin three on the connector. And that's it. Once you have your power supply connected to an electrical outlet, you should hear and see your power supply fan spinning. But if you have a really silent one, maybe you might need to at least connect one of your case fans just to see some activity. And if you do see that, then you know your power supply is working. And there's another component in your computer that's the issue. Like in my case, the motherboard. But this is a very simple test to test your power supply. It's not the most efficient because sometimes this works and a power supply does power on, but your power supply is just not providing enough voltage to your computer. And in that case, you might need a multimeter to properly test each pin to see that the correct voltage is being pushed out. That's something more advanced and I'm not really showing that in this video, but there are other methods of testing your power supply. They actually have power supply testers that you can purchase. And also on, on some Dell systems like this Optiplex 390 that I'm gonna show you right here, there's a power supply test button to the back of your power supply. All you need to do is push that little button, you see the light turn green, and you know your power supply is working. Well guys, this tutorial I wasn't planning to do. This was not what I was thinking for my next upload on this channel. I just decided to take this slight hardware setback, make a video out of it, and share some of my knowledge. Yeah, so I'm not sure what my upload schedule is going to be like for the next couple of weeks because I have to wait for my computer components to ship down to me to Belize, and then from there I set up my new computer. I was looking to upgrade this year, but it wasn't going to be till April when Ryzen Plus releases. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, but I am getting another sweet deal, and I'll talk about that in another video. Anyways guys, if you found this video informative, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more content to come. That's it for now, I'm out.